Hello everyone, today we're looking at one of these. Now, um, ignore the uh, pink little sticker on there. Um, this is uh, an old school Nokia logo, if uh, you guys don't know. Um, but this is one of only a handful of phones that Nokia made back in the day uh, that was uh, for use on the AMPS cellular system. Uh, most of the Nokia phones um, out there um, at the time were uh, for, for tax or e-tax and then later on obviously GSM because uh, uh, in, in the mid 90s the, the Nokia had kind of well dominated the market really um, but they, they never really uh, took off much uh, in terms of amps uh, uh, or, or, or an amps uh, or, or even uh, deamps or, or any of those um, analog uh, cellular technologies that existed in America. Uh, for some reason, Nokia never did really well with them. There's just a couple of C bag phones. There's this, the PT12, uh, 612, and the P4000 uh, Nokia phones, which, uh, which, uh, and a couple of Mobira phones that are really old that that were for for amps. If you look at Motorola, they had, I mean, I mean, they had a schmoggers board of of, of phones um, out for for amps and and. Uh, and tax and, and not tax uh, a big part for amps and uh, and CDMA and then TDMA as well Nokia didn't have you know anywhere near that so today we're looking at this this is a boxed Nokia 612 uh, PT 612 um, this is in its original form this is um, a fairly good condition one actually given given the age of this phone um, I don't know exactly when these came out because at the time when these came out I wasn't in America um, so I, I retrospectively bought this one uh, purely because this was in phenomenal condition. But um, you got, obviously, um, I'm not sure you got the cigarette lighter. Um, I think it's included with this because the guy who had it obviously um, it wanted it. Um, you got um, some foam. You got a, a 110 volt two pin. This is obviously for use in America. This is 120 volts. Um, so, and then you got the, um, the desktop charging cradle, which is still actually packaged up um, in green cling film for some reason. Uh, I, I never really unpacked this when I bought it to, to check. So uh, why don't we quickly do that now then? Um, Okay, there we go. So uh, this is the charging cradle. Now, um, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but this phone takes the same batteries as uh, the uh, 1320 and the NMT 450, uh, sorry, the, the Cityman uh, uh, 450, the Cityman 900 and the Cityman 1320. If you guys don't know what it is, let me quickly grab one and show you guys. Okay, so this is a uh, Nokia Cityman uh, 1320. Uh, this was for amps. Uh, they did do the Cityman in uh, uh, various, uh, various uh, for various uh, different cellular technologies. This was for for sorry, this was for tax, not amps. Uh, they did the uh, Cityman 450, which was for NMT 450. Uh, they did the Cityman uh, NMT, the Cityman 900 was for, for, for NMT 900, and they did the Cityman, uh, they did a variant of the NMT 900 as well for Radiocom 2000, which is a, a really bespoke uh, cellular system they had out in France. Uh, the 1320 is the only one that is grey in colour, all the others are black, the keypad's slightly different, the, uh, the Radiocom one's got slightly different buttons, uh, the, the NMT one's got different buttons again, uh, they got actually a couple more buttons. Uh, this is a simplified version of it, but this phone takes the same battery as the, the this particular Nokia um, So um, basically that that battery slots in there um, And then obviously you can plunk the phone here to, to charge the phone with an additional battery so but anyway um, Unfortunately, we ain't gonna be using that a because I don't have a 110 volt socket So if I put this into a 220 It'll obviously burn, um, but secondly, the the battery, unfortunately, that came with this, is um, no longer able to take charge. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's quite corroded there, and um, it's expanded slightly there. So um, I ain't going to be putting this into any of my phones, particularly not uh, really old ones like this, which are quite valuable. So, but I do have that. So hopefully. 
I'm going to be able to power this bad boy up. So um, this came in a nice little leather case, um, and uh, that's why the, the, the phone itself is actually in, in fairly good condition for its age. Um, there's a trick to getting this out of the leather case, basically. So this is the phone. Um, ignore that little number, that's just for my reference. Um, and basically, you undid the little hatch there, and you slotted the battery right in, like so. Um, and then obviously that sat on the crate, on the charging cradle, like so. Uh, and the little, the little lights come on there. I could actually, does it tell me what voltage this needs? No, it doesn't. Well, actually, it, oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? DC 13.7 volts, centipin pin positive. I could get myself a, a, a power pack like that for, for Europe, I suppose, to charge this up. Um, I didn't think of that, but well, well. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, I've got the extendable antenna. Um, not sure if this is just plastic. I guess the feeling, because this is quite rigid, this has probably got metal in it. Uh, so let me try and fire this bad boy up um, and see if we can at least go through the menu. Let me quickly clear this up here. Give me a bit of room. And plug this guy in. Okay, so, um, how does this work? So I guess this goes in, yeah, this is going, oh, it's got an RF connector at the bottom as well. So, this would go in like so. Now I'm hoping this will power on. So I've not actually played around with this for quite some time. Uh, and it's not powering up. Why is this not powering up? That would suck. Oh, here we go. Just need a little bit of TLC. There we go. It's got no service, obviously, because um, this runs on uh, on amps, and uh, we're in Europe, so there wouldn't be any amps anyway. But amps is a uh, amp cell towers have long been shut off. Um, so, but anyway, um, I don't actually know how to work the menu on this. Um, all I know is that select zero would be lock. Um, I don't know how how would you access the menu? Recall one. Then what? Send. Um, these are so old. Uh, you, you know, most people nowadays don't realize that the, the, the phones of today have menus and menu structures and all that sort of stuff. Um, a lot of the really early phones actually don't have a menu structure at all. You just basically got a couple of key codes um, and that was it. I think that, that I did do it correctly because it's displaying memory location one with no number. So. Um, I'm guessing that was correct. Uh, recall 2, presumably, would display whatever is in memory location 2, which is nothing, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know how you would... how you would... Uh, get rid of that. Select, no, clear. Uh, I don't even know if there is a menu on this, quite frankly, uh, which is probably why not many of these sold. Um, I, I certainly, um, this is a, a Nokia model that, that uh, definitely does not um, come up very often. Got a couple of, um, of uh, volume buttons on the side here, um, which would adjust the, the ring volume, obviously. There isn't anything else I can show you. Um, I don't know if I've got the manual for this, actually. I should have checked that in the box. Um, no, I don't have the manual for this. So, if anybody's got a manual for one of these, um, and you got it electronically, it'd be cool if you could uh, email me a, a copy, because uh, I'm stumped. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to work this. Uh, I guess you could obviously put the numbers in and press send to dial, but uh, there isn't a menu button on here. There's just select. Um, so, presumably, if we do, I don't know, we do 1-800... Five five five. I don't know. Two two zero zero. Uh, let's try and store that. Let's have a look. Select store. It wants a memory location. So let's go for zero nine. Then what? Do you press send? I guess not. Um, okay. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. One eight hundred five five five. 2000 zero, zero. select store 
let's go for memory location 99 then what store select store no recall I didn't like that okay what if we do recall 99 not found maybe this doesn't even have 99 memory locations let's try that again once more 1-800-555-1234 select store it wants that in location let's go for location 10 then what select 10 no I'm not too sure but uh, you can see this is not as straightforward as you might think um, so but given the choice between say this and a microtac which is roughly the sort of same era i would actually prefer a microtac because um they were easier to work even though the, the menu on them was a little bit uh, uh tricky and, and it wasn't as straightforward at least you had a menu on this you really don't um so it's this is actually quite quite cumbersome to use and this would not have fit in your shirt pocket this was definitely a trouser pocket job um, but anyway, um, real short video of this. Unfortunately, I can't really show you much else. Um, but the P4000 looks exactly identical. I don't actually know what the difference between the two is. Um, I might actually dig the P4000 out. I have and do a video about that as well. It takes the same battery, is the same shape, roughly the same button, same antenna. I think the accessory port's even the same. Uh, I don't know what the improvement on this is to the to the P4000, but. Um, when I do a video, I'll, I'll try and let you guys know. So anyway, um, if you like the phone of the video, give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And uh, don't forget to like uh, and share as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.